What's up, you guys? Long time no see. Hope life is treating y'all well. Just wanted to talk to y'all real quick about, uh, so for exterior cleaners, for me, it's our off season. Uh, made good money this year. This time, you know, you're kind of planting seeds for next year and the washing season to come. You're, you know, I guess some of us, you know, finding little odd jobs to do here and there um we did a couple of christmas lights this past off season just to get our get our beaks wet so to speak uh we did a family member and a couple family friends homes and it went great it went great it's intimidating when you're doing something for the first time you know you feel like oh i i'm not you know the most i'm not that great with electronics it's you know it's going to be complicated splicing wires this this and that but it's honestly there's not much to it uh I, a lot to learn of course but we did that and uh made some good money with that i mean for the homes we did call it good money for you know doing four or five homes but uh but yeah, so we did that, and then I finally figured, I'm like, man, we're going to, I can't, this next coming off season, I'm not, I don't want to rest on my laurels and just, you know, count on making a whole lot of money during the year. I want, because even when you have a good amount of money, when you're not working, and even though my expenses are low, it sucks, you know, like say you take a trip or two in the winter. You got Christmas gifts and then rent, bills, all that stuff. It, you know, you just watch your bank account dwindle down. And while you're not hurting, it's still, it still sucks, you know, not having any supplemental income. And so I just, you know, had this epiphany. I'm like, man, I'm doing this, this, ne this next, uh, this next Christmas. There's a lot of opportunity there. And so I've started getting my ducks in a row for next Christmas, doing the basic stuff, you know, came up with a name for the business uh, that that took me, you know, a couple days, a little bit too long to do. And I ended up just kind of going with the same thing. My pressure washing business's name is just a little different for holiday lighting. But um, but I got that done. And, and also I've been sick the last three weeks. So man, it's been, it's been rough not being able to move around like I normally do. You know, it just weighs on your mental, but got the, got the name. I just had a logo made. Actually, they're editing it right now because it's, there's some miscommunication. It's not the best logo, but it's good enough. And at the end of the day, the marketing and the works will speak for itself. But going to work on getting the business uh, registered. I'm going to open up an LLC and put both, you know, two DBAs, one for my pressure washing and one for Christmas lights. Work on insurance quotes for Christmas lights and, and things like that. Just getting ducks in a row for the coming year. Because before you know it, you know, October, September, October is upon us and then it's time to start thinking about doing lights and getting that set up. I remember this quote, it's what you do today, you will not see the rewards until two years down the road. It's something along those lines, but it's so easy to want everything overnight. But, you know, it's uh, successful people, they all just chip away one day at a time, putting bricks into place one day at a time and it's going to pay off you know i i i need to be able to take care of my family and and while this was the best year yet it was a learning curve to show me that you know i mean nothing's been taken away from me but god can give and god can take away you got to remain humble you know don't develop a, a gambling addiction don't rest on your laurels don't think things are permanent you got to remember what got you here. And <clears throat> I'm just going to, I'm going to continue getting my ducks in a row for uh, Christmas lights. We actually got our first pressure, pressure washing job of the year tomorrow, which is, which is awesome. 
<clears throat> especially this time of year. But, but yeah, that that's kind of where I'm at. You know, uh, setting up this Christmas light stuff. Uh, I wanted to do some upgrades to the my my trailer with the eight gallon a minute this off season. I may wait on that just because we'll see how Uncle Sam does me. I have a feeling I'm gonna, you know, I'm if if all my math and accounting is correct, I'm gonna owe a good about of money, which is it's okay, it's all good. But I'm just gonna hold off. We'll see how this upcoming season goes, and I'm just gonna hustle, hustle, hustle. And I know things are going to be all good. It's been rough the last couple of weeks on my mental not being able to, because I got COVID and then I started getting better. And then I came down with another sickness like a day or two after starting to feel like myself again. And that's the crappy thing about COVID. It just kind of lingers. Obviously, everyone's different. But first time I got it wasn't that bad. This time it just it lingered for so damn long, man. And even when I felt mostly fine, you know, my legs would be fatigued and I would just have this, just be lazy. And that's not who I am at all. But then I started thinking, I'm like, you know, is this just kind of, you know, the last two weeks of habits, two and a half weeks of habits built up? And is that why I'm being lazy or is this COVID just still lingering around? And, you know, but I've been feeling way better the last couple of days and, I know that it was just COVID kind of keeping me down, but no excuses. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to give y'all an update, let y'all know, uh, let y'all know what's going on. And, you know, if y'all have any questions about how I'm going to go about making uh, or getting this Christmas stuff set up, just let me know. I'm going to make start making videos on those when, when the time is right. And, and yeah, hope you all have a good one. Let's kill this week. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.